up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be looking at the best way to beat the um dead rise scarab boss um it's the first boss that i've come across in curse c that i found was a little bit difficult to do so i'm gonna show you what i feel is the best way to deal with him uh, just a little tip as well if you want to know what area or region you're in uh, if you zoom out you've got dead rise here then we've got cobble market at the bottom to the far right, we've got Plague Home, and then top right is Soul Cross. So you can just zoom out and you've got all the names there. So with the Scarab boss, we're on stage D9. And I would say don't bring in Rotos because he's so tanky. He's going to cause issues. You might get wipes. And basically, we're just going to solo this with Bad L. And the reason I feel that Bad L is the best option for this is that there's probably... There's three ways you can do this. One, you can build a really, really tanky team that does good damage, uh, maybe like in Destroyer set, or um, really like every champion is going to need high resistance. That's a lot of re-gearing, that's a lot of gear. And I personally, that's just a waste of resources in my account, uh, in my eyes, when I can just do one champion like Bad L and he can just solo it for me. Then the next option you've got is finding someone that's got um shield so we need like a, a champion that's gonna put shields for like either three turns on a three turn cooldown which again and then i'm gonna have to build up that champion and you know it's just a waste of resources so in my opinion the best way to do this is bring in bad l and um, we only need to bring in four champions and the reason for that is is that when those champions die um we're gonna get more speed from our masteries so that's why i've done that and we want to bring at least one destroy um, champion that can destroy enemy max HP, like Vlad, like Rotos. And the reason for that is that, you know, it just speeds up the run a little bit. Um, that's annoying though. You can see like, we've got so much resistance and he managed to steal one of our continuous heals, but it's all right. Um, you know, and it takes about, it's about a 15 minute run. So it is long. I'm not going to play the whole video because I'm sure you guys will find it just snoozeville. Uh, but yeah, let's check out the build and masteries on Bad L. The rest of the champions, it really doesn't matter. You know, you're just going for like squishy builds and high damage. So this is the build that we're rolling with for Bad L. And as you can see, we've got two pieces of perception and, and we've got regen, but obviously we're not getting the benefits because we don't have four pieces. And I'll talk you through the reasons why that is. Um, so I'm going to go for every single piece just so you can see the substats that we're looking for. So we want subs in speed and resistance and accuracy. Um, HP and defense are great as well. Uh, we've got defense on the gloves, uh, resistance on the chest piece, uh, HP on the boots, uh, HP on the ring, and it's a prevention uh, skill cooldown one. These are really nice because it just means that because he's got that A2, you can try and keep it up and throw out more poisons. Uh, HP on the amulet, and then an accuracy banner. So, and the thing is as well, is like, ideally I'd have him in like four pieces regen, but it's, it's more important to get the stats than it is to get the, the benefits from the, from the gear set. So total stats, we've got 62k HP, uh, 3.1k defense, 218 speed, and then 369 resistance and 350 accuracy. So you need about 350 accuracy and resistance that's to land your poisons and then that's to stop the boss from uh, stealing your, your continuous heals. So we've got him fully booked and you do need him fully booked for this. Uh, blessing wise, ideally you would probably take smite. That would probably do the most amount of damage. Definitely speed up the run. And then these are the masteries that we're rolling with. So we've got some accuracy. Then we're splitting up uh, arcane cedar tree. And rapid response are great on him because we're throwing out buffs, we're throwing out debuffs, and when they expire, we've got a good chance to boost our turn meter. Taking Laura still just to bump up our speed and accuracy just a little bit. Uh, Master Hexar to keep those poisons out for as long as possible. Uh, Cycle of Magic, again, just to try and get um, our cooldowns off on our A2 so we can just keep popping off with poisons. Spray H 
is essential. So, you know, we've got three allies, they die, and then that means we're going to get 24 extra speed. Then we've got a presser. So, again, this is going to keep us really, really fast with all those poisons that we're throwing out. And then we're going in for the de uh, defense tree, taking a bit of resistance, uh, rejuvenation. So, that's going to help heal us up from our continuous heals. Blast proof, protect us from, well, reduce the damage that we're taking from those AoE hits. Resurgence, so if we take a big hit, we can remove debuffs. Uh, delay death, so this is going to reduce the damage that the boss does, us, uh, does to us over time. And then Circle Revenge, so if we have a critical hit, we've got a good chance to, again, increase our turn meter. A short and sweet video, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. What are we doing, real deal? Let's look at um, all the different factions and see if there's any key champions we can pick out. So I just wanted to have a look at some of my clan mates, see what they've done. And you've got someone that's got Marichka. So obviously they've got Marichka in. She puts out shields for two turns and then they're just going ham. Uh, all these champions pretty much do destroy any max HP and they just destroy the Scarab quickly as possible. That's going to be really hard. Uh, new meta, obviously he's a beast. Uh, one of the best players in the game. So yeah. I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to have that option. Again, so we've got Warren. Um, he's sort of done the same thing, except he's brought in Stagnite. He's going to de uh, drop defense, also brings a slow in. And then we've got loads of champions just going ham again. I just feel like it's going to be really difficult for people to do this. Then we've got Aspect, who's actually done this with Mayana. And who's this rare? Uh, let's just, we'll go check them out in a sec. But yeah, here's like a whole bunch that people brought in. Like Warlord brings shields, but again, like not everyone's going to have like a Warlord. It is, I feel like Bad L is definitely the best way to go just because so many people are just not going to have like high resistance or or champion, like the champions that bring shields here are, you know, they're the, <laughs> they're like the god tier champions that are, you know, a lot, they're all like pretty much legendaries that people aren't going to have. So yeah, let's just have a look at who this person is. They look like an orc to me. So that it's an orc and it's a, a void epic. Oh, so, Labunga. <laughs> Labunga. Okay, so Labunga. So, okay, so they're basically just doing what Bad Ale does, throwing out poisons. So that's what they're doing. They're just literally using Mayana to do heals, to bring in shields, and then Labunga is just going to throw out all the poisons. So hopefully that's going to give you guys some ideas, but again, I still feel like Bad L is the best way to go, unless you're an absolute kraken with, like, god-tier champions. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.